fantastic. Yes, I know this is turned sideways, and there's a very good reason for that. Anyway, uh, five tips that I use to keep myself motivated. So I made a list of five things that um, I use to keep myself motivated. I don't know what you do to keep yourself motivated, but I wanted to share them. So the first one is knowing or having an end goal in mind for me, again. So, you know, when I'm going about doing the things that I'm doing, I always have the ultimate end goal for whatever that project is in mind. And having that end goal in mind actually allows me to be motivated because then I can plan and prep and strategize to get to that end goal. If I don't, I tend to be like a fish swimming up a stream. Kind of straight sometimes, a little bit off other times, but my tail is flapping the whole time and I'm going upstream. So, um, you know, having an end goal for whatever the, the task or the project is at hand really enables me to move forward to that goal more effectively. So that's how I stay motivated. One thing of how I stay motivated. What's the next thing on the list? I was having a motivational lifestyle. Um, what do I write here? Uh, so sp I've written speakers, um, but that can be anybody that you want to learn from or somebody you admire in your, um, your industry space, somebody who is outside of your industry space even, somebody who's an outside thinker, somebody who promotes positivity and somebody who promotes uh, education and awareness or somebody who promotes upskilling in any capacity. That can be really good and that works really well for me. There's a lot of people that I listen to. Um, from guys who specialize in sales to guys who specialize in you know other avenues of digital marketing um, so I find it very motivational and very helpful as well um, now I've written Brain FM in here but I've actually got it under another category as well so Brain FM is a an app so I, I put my headphones on and what it does is it, it plays music that helps the brain go into a particular state that allows you to be more effective in terms of being able to concentrate on the things that you're doing. Um, there's other ones you can get to that uh, like binaural beats is another um, type of um, application that you can get and what that will do is it'll play a frequency in this ear and a frequency in this ear and the brain sums up the difference between those frequencies and will resonate at those frequencies that'll keep your brain whether it's theta or, or whatever it happens to be. So that music allows me to stay really focused. At first I was a little bit, um, I was quite hesitant in using it because I didn't think it would work for me. But after 30 minutes I realized I had been concentrating so intensely, you know, um, listening to Brain FM that I, I um, smashed a whole pile of work really, really, really quickly. So some people, you know, might find that useful when you're doing, maybe you're planning your social media stuff or whatever it is that, you, that you're doing. So that's Brain FM. Um, another one that helps me stay motivated is, um, is in, under the motivational lifestyle is, is fitness um, and diet as well. So for me, um, it's something that's, I'm passionate about. It's something that um, I love to do. And i been a bit slack in the last four weeks, not because everybody's in lockdown, but because some transitional stuff happening between here and our uh, apartment in uh, Takapuna in Auckland and just doing some stuff and it just fell by the wayside but typically I'm at the gym uh, between five to seven days a week oftentimes I'll do maybe nine days to 12 days and then I'd, I'd have a day off um, but I had a lot of injuries too in the last couple of years so you know but in saying that I can tell you from my personal experience that being um, you know physically active is really important for, for motivation for me um, and uh, the other motivational aspect of motivational lifestyle excuse me is having a balanced life um, which falls under all that as well so you know eating well but sometimes having dip and chips which I had again in the weekend which I hadn't had for I couldn't tell you how long but I enjoyed it and I didn't feel the least bit guilty um, the third thing, um, the third tip that I use to keep myself motivational, uh, 
is knowing that what we do makes a difference. And I think, you know, um, when you understand that the things that you do makes a difference um, for not only your business but other businesses, but also for the that has an, um, an on flowing effect in terms of the uh, economic benefits for you know the community, the city, and all that sort of stuff. Which I think I've written down here later. Oh, that's actually here. It is. So the economic benefits of um, of what you do is, is really important as well because as a as a business owner, um, our businesses supply. Um, say so staff pay for wages for staff, which pays for you know their their mortgages, and it pays for the, the kids' clothing. It pays for you know food. It, it pays for going to the movies and going away on holidays or saving for holidays or whatever the case may be. So there's a knowing that there's an economic benefit to doing what we do as well is really really important. To me, that's one of the motivational things for me as well, knowing that the stuff that we do, it's not always immediate. A lot of times the stuff that we do might take a business three months, six months, nine months, 12 months to really have a significant impact, but it depends on the industry space. Every business is different, right? But that's one of the other things uh, for me, um, one of the things that keeps me motivated and keeps me elevated in all my movements with my work projects is knowing that there's an economic onflow for what we do as well. Okay, so the fourth thing is, uh, <laughs> you know, I think this is a bit silly, but taking regular breaks um, and listening to music. So uh, what we do is, well, what I do is, it can be really, really tedious. Um, it's easy to get headaches if you're sitting on computers for long periods of time. So I'll take breaks. Um, it's really necessary for your, for your health, you know. Um, so, and, and believe it or not, it actually helps me stay motivated because if, if I don't take regular breaks, then I, I get lethargic and I, I start to lose a bit of, you know, that, um, that, that energy for the projects that I'm working on. So, taking regular breaks um, actually helps me stay motivated because, you know, I'll go away, maybe just you know, do something else, <clears throat> and then I'll go back and do some work. And then, bang, it's like I'm just immediately back into it. You know, I'll put those headphones on, listen to Brain FM if I need a little bit more um, focus. So uh, that's another one for me, is um, listening to music and taking regular breaks. Because a lot of the stuff that we do is, you know, technical in our industry, like everyone else's industry would be considered technical to somebody else. Um, but I can't afford to make mistakes. Um, and they can be very costly mistakes and sometimes mistakes that can take months time to do. So it's really important that I stay motivated, I have crystal, you know, that I have clarity while I'm doing the stuff that I'm doing. Uh, and then finally, the last one is, uh, it's going to seem even more preposterous than the last one, is actually just living um, and, you know, do things like learn to play an instrument, go for walks, spend time with friends or play sports, um, go to restaurants, you know, do fun things with your friends, family, loved ones. That also keeps me motivated as well. Um, nothing worse than being just immersed in this whole work thing all the time, which I can sometimes tend to be. And um, I know that's quite detrimental. So, you know, having, actually having a life been, is quite important, you know. Um, so those are the five things that I use regularly to stay motivated for, for what we do. Like I said, it can be it can be taxing and challenging both on your health. You know, it's, my eyes have deteriorated since I spend so much time on a computer. And I have for, uh, goodness, at least 18 years. So there you go. Um, that's not good for your eyes. Um, Having a motivational lifestyle, listening to people who are in um, different sectors who sort of complement the stuff that we do. So learning more about sales, stuff that I didn't really still don't like and I don't like the idea of you know, sales because it always sounds really 
um, sleazy and that you're having to uh, at somebody. Um, but that's not actually the case. Um, who have I been listening to in that space? Uh, Alan Clough, if you've never heard of him, he's amazing. Um, and uh, what else? So running through the, the five things again. The first one was uh, knowing what the, or having an end goal in mind was the first one. The second one was having a motivational lifestyle and whatever that looks like to you for your, your business. The third one is uh, knowing that I'm making a difference. Um, not always short term and being patient and knowing that a lot of times it's a long term game for most industries to work with. Uh, that, that was the third one. Uh, the third one is making a difference here. Yeah. Uh, the fourth one was listening to music and taking regular breaks. That works for me. I don't know, it works for other people and w whatever it is they do. And the fifth one was just living, um, going to restaurants and you know supporting the local industries here um, in this city, in New Plymouth or when we're in Takapuna at our apartment out there. Um, there's just so much to do and you need to live um, but that's what I do to stay sane while I'm working on projects for, for you or uh, a clients, other clients or whatever the case may be that helps me get through the whole thing and know that at the end of it you know I've, um, I've completed whatever I've needed to complete and I've stayed motivational motivated as I've been doing the whole project so there we go that is my five tips that I use to keep me motivated when I'm working. Love to hear your comments. Maybe you've got some stuff that you do. It, it doesn't matter what industry space you're in. Everybody has something that they use to keep themselves motivated. It might not even be at your work. It's, you know, it might be stuff you do out of work. You know, um, but love to hear what you do. Leave your comments if you want to share that with us. If you want to do it in private, then PM me as well. That's all cool. But uh, I hope you found some of this stuff useful. I'll actually leave some links to maybe some of the things I've mentioned in here, uh, i.e. Um, some of the speakers or the apps and stuff that uh, you might find beneficial. Even the keto diet, which I've been doing for a while, which actually enabled me to lose 10 kilos. So it was 96, I'm sitting on 86 at the moment, um, but my weight is going to go back up again over winter. Um, yeah, so I'll leave those in the comments uh, box as well or in this post. Otherwise, take care of yourself, have a great day, and uh, enjoy the weather while it's here. Take care. Bye.